Well, today I'm doing something a little different. I got a honeydew list for the trailer. Okay, we're going to get ready for camping real soon. And my wife had a couple of things she wanted me to take care of. And one of them is on the door here. This is the typical, for those of you who haven't seen them before, this is the typical uh, door that uh, these trailers have. And what you've got is this is the outer door latch. And so what you tend to have to do is you slide this open and you open this here and then you grab this to, to slam the door. But then when the door is open, you can actually have the screen door separate. But there's really no way to close the screen door other than grabbing this, which is unusual and kind of not, not the greatest deal. You can pull it right out of the track pretty easily. So she bought this online. Uh, actually, who did she buy this from? I don't know, one of those catalogs we get with all RV stuff in it. This is the RV screen door crossbar. So there's a picture there showing what this basically was designed to do. It just basically goes on here like this and gives you a place to grab onto to close the screen door. So we're going to install this. All right, so the instructions say we're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver, a drill, a 1 8 inch drill bit, a level, a pencil, tape, the provided screws, and the template provided. So let's get that stuff together. All right, so here are the tools that aren't provided that I need. Tape, pencil, level, which I'll be able to use this one. Um, I know I should have got bar level, but this is going to work fine. Uh, eighth inch drill bit, drill, and Phillips head screwdriver, but I'm just going to use my uh, Phillips tip in the drill on a very uh, light torque setting. So let's see what we do. All right, so the first step is to basically take the uh, bar, and this basically extends to whatever width you need, and to place it on the door. Uh-oh, this isn't going to work. Problem is, if I extend these end pieces out far enough on both sides so that I can mount them, the brackets where they're supposed to be mounted, on the part of the door where they're supposed to be, what ends up happening is I have to put these out so far that they barely catch any of the uh, actual metal bar itself. In other words, you can see that's the end right there. So I would have to like screw that one there. And if I move this one out. Alright, so that's the max that I could put these out maximum width and if I put that one on the door there I just get that one to reach the problem is with it extended that far there's not much of the metal bar actually protruding into the plastic part so it's really uh, let me show you see this is really sloppy this is going to be a really weak connection even after I put the screw in, it's going to be really cheesy. And you can see that if I was able to insert this in further, like this, it stiffens up and has a lot more strength. So I could put it on the way I just showed, but it's going to be weak. Uh, or I could see whether or not they have another bar. The reason why I shouldn't have opened this is because I should have put it here. It says extends 21 and a quarter to 28 and 5 eighths. And I just thought that most of these... Uh, screen doors were pretty standard but that one's 29 so that's why if they make another one of these bars with a wider width then that's what we should be using so I'm gonna go and check online real quick and see if they make the wider one if they don't make the wider one then I'm gonna mount this one on the way that uh, you know it has to be and well you know, that's what honey wants so we'll see what we can do well, uh, this is made by Camco RV, so here's their website. Let's see what we can find out. Well, this is annoying. Seems like as I navigate that stupid thing... Oh, okay, now it went away. Uh, all right, so I looked under... Let's see, I hit RV hardware. And instead, this same... See, this, this stupid thing keeps coming up. So what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to pick the... Uh, no, then it goes away. All right, so this is another example of a website. Oh, okay, here we go. Here's the search results down below. 
Let's say another example of a poorly designed website. Uh, zero gravity chairs. Why is that under hardware? Oh, oh, good. There was only it looks like there's only 53 pages that came up. Oh, well, this ought to be really easy to find. Uh, okay, product search. Let's try that. Let's uh, search screen door crossbar and see what comes up. Oh, oh the same annoying pop-up page again. I guess we got to wait for that to go away again. Oh, there we go. Let's see. Screen door crossbar. There it is. Is it the only one? Oh, good. This annoying thing came back again. I was really worried that we wouldn't get to see it. Go away. Uh huh. All right. Here we go. Uh, 42183. They all look like they have the same part number. Adjust from 20.25 to 28 inches. Easy installation. So, I am now satisfied that uh, this is not going to be available in a larger size because this is the manufacturer's website. I don't even show it. So it looks like uh, if I want to mount this one that the wifey bought, I'm going to have to figure out a way to modify it. Well, I spoke to a friendly young lady at the... Um, uh, customer service line and she confirmed that this is the only model that they offer they do not have one that's longer she also confirmed for me that this is manufactured for them uh, by a Chinese company so I can't even call a US manufacturer and say hey you know that aluminum bar that you guys use uh, could you cut me one that's a couple inches longer than the standard and I'd even be willing to pay for you to ship me one it's not gonna work so because I don't speak Chinese yeah I know it's kinda surprising but I don't Pretty soon, we're probably all going to have to. Um, so, let me see what else I can come up with. Well, Mama wants a bar. Mama's going to get a bar. So, what we're going to do, what I'm going to do, is instead of mounting it here, which is where they clearly show it should be mounted, into the door frame, I am going to mount it onto this part of the door frame right here, which is this lip right here. And it's actually almost like a track. But I do not see any need for that track to exist other than it's how the door is put together at the top and the bottom. In other words, if there's a screw impinging in this track right here, it's not going to be in the way of something that's supposed to slide up and down that track that I can see. So that's what we're going to do. And that's going to gain me about the half an inch on each side, which will be one more inch that this will be... Uh, the bar can be inserted or a half inch more on each side here and then I'll make it a little more stable. Uh, it is what it is. So essentially what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to just hold this up onto the door then making sure it's level you're supposed to mark uh, mark the actual holes onto the uh, metal part of the door with a pencil. Now before I check to see if the uh, bar is level or I position it. I want to make sure the door is currently level because what I really am aiming for is I'm aiming for the bar to be parallel to this line right here and it looks like it's fairly level it's just a little bit out so maybe a hair yeah it's just a hair off so as long as I have the bubble that same amount off when I have it on the bar then I know I could have a parallel line. The other thing I could do is I could I could pick a spot here, put the screw holes or markings for the screw holes on this side, and then measure up from this line right here to the bottom screw hole and make sure that that's the same dimension on this side. And it would give me the same effect. Because I really don't care about how level the bar is. What I care about is it being parallel in relationship to this line. Because if the trailer wasn't level right now, which, you know, it might not be. Um, it's been sitting all winter, but it actually happens to be pretty level. But if it wasn't level, then you wouldn't go by the level. You'd go by parallel. Right? Right. All right, so here are my little marks here to show the uh, holes where they're located. And... Uh, now I could just drill right there and drill right there, but the odds of lining it up perfectly are not very good. So since we want them to be as close to perfect as possible, 
the manufacturer provides this template, which is nice. So I'm going to put this template together and use the template. Okay, step two is measure the distance between the crossbar mounting hole locations on the left and the right. Well, wait a minute. Measure it with what? Oh, I'll use a tape measure, but you didn't tell me that up in the front top, did you? You said tape, but you didn't say tape measure. The tape's for the template, because clearly the next step it says uh, two-place template, blah, 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 blah. Tape the template together, all right? So that's the tape they're talking about. So they forgot to tell you that you're going to need something to measure that. And what are we measuring? We're mis measuring the distance between the crossbar mounting hole locations on the left and the right. Alrighty, I got 27 inches. So now I'm going to lay out our template on the floor here. Okay, now it tells me what I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to um, slide this back and forth and making sure that the three gray bars, which they must mean these light gray bars here, are lined up. And also I want to do that at a point where I'm going to get 27 inches from here to there. And they didn't say to measure center line to center line on those screw holes, but I'm going to assume that uh, that's what they meant. And we'll put the uh, we'll put this together when it lines up and gives us 27 inches between center hole to center hole. Oh, this is fun to do, by the way. Uh, you got to make sure this paper is laying perfectly flat, and then you got to try and put the tape measure on it while not uh, disturbing your uh, your setting there. So I think I've got it. I got, so I tacked it with one piece of tape. Let me check my measurement one more time. All right, so I got 27 inches on the dot. Uh, it's 27 inches on center from these holes to those holes. So now, now it says check to make sure measurements taken in steps two and three are correct. It doesn't say exactly how to do it, but what we can do, I guess, is we could put the bar on here. <laughs> 